I'm at the uh, Buman residence and what you're going to do is you're going to come through their front door and you're going to walk right up these steps and you're going to turn and you'll see a little restroom right here to the left and you're going to open this door and walk into the attic and this sits up on a platform as a as they normally put uh, these systems in homes back here. So this is a Train XB80 upflow. Um, the problem with it is that we're considering replacement on it because of the functionality of the heat exchanger not being good and possible leaks in the heat exchanger. So um, some seams falling apart and some other things. Um, his electric comes in on the left um, here's your space in between. Your return drop is a left-hand sided drop. And what size filter are you using in there, Richard? It's a uh, 16 by 25 by 1. Okay, so we're using a 16 by 25 by 1 filter right now in here. Uh, and it probably wouldn't hurt to uh, go ahead and put a media air filter in there to keep his blower fan a little cleaner because this is on the attic side. Um, the one inch is a little restrictive. Um, if you, uh, here, here's your gas line coming up and then your flex and then hard pipe into the side of the furnace. Your flue double wall going all the way up and out the top of the roof as you can see. Um, here's your A coil and then what that does is that takes off and goes way up here. There's the top of your ductwork goes to the right and goes across the home. Now this is for the upstairs unit. Here's your return way up there on the left hand side there and coming down as such and going into the side of the furnace. This furnace is not only up on a platform but it also has a drain pan that's underneath of it and it is also sitting on furnace blocks with isolator pads and a safety cutoff switch, pan switch. Um, I would suggest an SSI switch too over on the coil when we replace that coil we were talking about replacing it because it is an R22 coil unit outside is newer. So this line, refrigerant line is going up we're not going to have to replace that right now. It's not necessary, but we're going to come up and over is where your refrigerant line goes.